What's up fellow engineers, Dr. McKay here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the Asgard O'Neill Mod.io Showcase. But before we get started, if you want to go ahead and like, comment and subscribe if you like the content. If you want to go ahead and follow me on Twitch, I'm trying to reach 60 followers. But with all that said, <clears throat> today we are showcasing off the Asgard O'Neill from Stargate SG-1. Now this build has taken roughly 20 to 25 hours to build. It would have probably been, been like five hours like quicker but I had a mishap with the file but as you can see it's a beautiful looking ship now this build is a quite a large build it is I think it's like a hundred and sixty five thousand PC let me just get the specs up here so it's a hundred and seventy five thousand PC is sixty seven thousand blocks and he's a chunky ass build, I will say. But I do like it. I've kept the weapons to a minimum. And they're all rail guns to keep it aesthetically true to the show. But obviously you could go ahead and mod it as you wish. Like put as many guns on it as you want. It is quite a large build. It's like 250-ish blocks long. We have obviously the new warfare. Obviously engines. Rail guns and whatnot but this build has been a true pleasure to build and obviously i built it all live as well so if you want to go check that out on twitch in my recent streams you'll be able to see me build this so what we're gonna do we're gonna quickly have a look inside fly it around a little bit show you like weapons and stuff and then see what you think now i have got mods running so i do highly recommend you have at least the PCU reduction mods on and the thruster 10 times and the gyro 10 times mods to help with this build otherwise he's very slow I'd, if you don't have them on I would have to add more engines and gyros and obviously I'd run out of PCU in vanilla so this is where you go inside it's on the on the like top section we have an airlock it's all pressurized inside so it's pretty good I don't know if the other door shut no it's not <laughs> we just shut this door so this is like the inside and I tried to capture the aesthetic design of an Asgard interior interiors so these archways are pretty pretty cool I'm not sure about the color scheme but I quite like it and I've had other people say they like it too so hopefully you like it as well if not you can just change the paint it's completely up to you when you download it and obviously we have a reactor room in here where we have a bunch of the new warfare reactors and obviously batteries on top and obviously in here is a bunch of internal engines to help make it fly. It's pretty basic. Like I said, it's small grid. So like most of my Stargate ships, to create some detail, I need to make them small grid. As we come into the main room, we obviously have our survival kits and cryopods on each side. We have three consoles and like this control display at the back with some custom control turret control blocks. So when we come onto the, the control menu, we obviously control it from here. All the, all the buttons are set up. As you can see, this is with the uh, 10 times thrusters and gyros on. Still moves a little bit slow on the old gyros, but thruster, he goes from zero to 100 in like a few seconds. Whereas in vanilla, without these 10 times thrusters, it takes like a minute to go from zero to 100. And we don't really have a lot of up thrust. He does float, but he don't slow down quick enough. So, you know. Just bear that in mind when you download it. Now we do have some weapons on this. But they're all they're all rail guns. As you can see, we've got we got three on the sides, just underneath the barrels, and then two main ones at the front. Which are in there. And let's shoot again. for a few there you go so 
So that, those are like the, the forward static weapons. And we do have four on t custom control blocks that we do have set up on AI as we have in the second quick action menu. So all you gotta do is press up, left, right, down to turn them all on and they will target the target. But they're not 100% accurate, so don't bet on them. <laughs> yeah, your best bet if you wanted this to be an actual warship is obviously use mods and then add more weapons. Yeah, that's my recommendation, but I've tried to keep it, like I said, true to what it is in the show and in the show it doesn't really have as far as I can tell, it doesn't have point def defense weapons. It has four main large ion guns, which is what I've got here. Yeah, but like I said, it's pretty, pretty quick with mods. Slow without, so like I said, definitely recommend getting them. And not to mention the PCU with mods, he drops it from being 175,000 to like 94,000, if I'm looking at that right. Yeah, 92,475, so it drops close to 80,000 off, which is pretty good. So you can get two of them in, if you wanted two of them in a, in a session. Yeah, but that's with all the uh, Kings, like PCU number one, so that's like doors, weapons, hydros, gyros, you know, blocks itself. But yeah, I'm happy with this build. I know a few people that have been watching me are happy with it and I've, it's already up on mod.io now which i uploaded yesterday and i've had a few po i've had lots of positive comments on it so it's really really like happy with this yeah my next build i'm going i'm thinking of doing the midway space station so if you are interested in that you yeah, know please leave a comment down below to uh let me know if you're interested in the midway space station but I do have the Daniel Jackson class Asgard O'Neill ship on the works as well. And a Beliskner. And a few others as we go. But this is the Asgard O'Neill. Ready for you to pilot. You can go ahead and download it on mod.io. I'll leave a link in the description for you to go find that. All that said, thank you for watching. This has been one hell of a ship to build. I hope you all enjoy it. I've been Dr. McKay. Thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers and goodbye.